Good, Good evening, evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Well, guys, it's good to see you on a Thursday. Today is almost, almost the end of the month, almost the end of June. <laughs> and it's our class number six, right? So let me show you. I'm going to show you in a moment the class presentation for this evening. We will see in a moment. Okay, today's class is about expressing agreement and disagreement. <laughs> I could see that you had some doubts and some questions ab about this in the chat, right? In the WhatsApp group. So we are going to we are going to study this this evening. Okay, the objective in this class, participants will understand the use of so, to, neither, and either. With these words, participants may express agreement and or disagreement. Okay, so we are going to learn today how to use these words. But before we study that topic, we are going to have a review of the previous class or previous knowledge. Now we're going to study the words in conversation time and wrap up. Okay, so first we have here some people's problems. And we studied in the last class how to give advice. Um, so you are going to suggest advice for each problem and choose the best advice. I need one volunteer to read the first one. I need one volunteer to read the description of the first picture. Okay, Geraldine, please. I am visiting the United States. I am staying with a family while I am here. What small gift can I get for them? Very good. So that is the, what, what suggest can you give? What suggestions can you give? What can you suggest? Something to eat. Okay, you bring you can bring something to eat. Okay, if, if you are Salvadorian and you're going to visit the United States, you could bring some pupusas, right? Mm -hmm. What else? What other gifts can you get for them? For the American family? We have some example here. Why doesn't she give them some flowers? They are always nice. That's a good idea. Or she could bring chocolate. Or I think she should make some pupusas for them. Or she could bring some souvenirs from El Salvador. Souvenirs. Little gifts that you can buy. Mm -hmm. and those that you can buy. Falco, Falco, right? Those little clothes. Clothes with the name of the Salvador. Excuse me. Clothes with clothes. with the name of El Salvador. Yeah, right. Those those t-shirts, those t-shirts, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's read the second problem. Who can read the second problem? Milagro? But you are mute, Milagro. Michael Walker always talks loudly to his friends during work hours i can't concentrate what can i do okay what can i do if my co-worker always talks loudly 
He doesn't let me concentrate. Okay, suggestions, bye-bye. I think she, she told uh, say, uh, watchman at the office, a report. Oh, she, she should talk to the, the supervisor or the boss. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Watch, watchman uh, is the same uh, supervisor? Supervisor or the manager. Supervisor, excuse me. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, what else? Maybe she can use earphone. She could, she could wear some headphones, right? Okay, or maybe she could give some uh, earphones or headphones to the co-worker, right? <laughs> okay, very good. What about the last problem? Lorena, can you please read the last paragraph? Okay. Our school wants to buy, to buy some new gym equipment. Can you suggest some good ways to raise money? Very nice. So how... Uh, can the, the students and the teachers raise some money? They want to raise or collect some money. So what are some ideas? So they can buy new gym equipment. They they could sell lunch. Okay, they could sell lunch. They could sell food. Very nice, Alejandro. And I'm glad that you feel better. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> Okay, other ideas? They could look for sponsors. Okay, for sponsors, sponsors or funders, foundations, they that so they can get some donations, right? Yeah. Yes, David. Car wash. Oh, they they could like provide the car wash service. They could provide the car wash service and raise the money. Okay. Well, I remember in my when I was a student, my classmates used to sell candies or chocolates, right? <laughs> so they could sell candies or chocolates, or they could do car wash or they could look for sponsors or uh, donations. Very good, good idea, thank you guys. And I like that you were using can, you were using could mm -hmm. for possibilities. Nice, so now guys. Good evening teacher. Good evening Anna. Good evening everyone. <laughs> good evening. Okay, are you hungry? Always. <laughs> Did you have dinner? No, not yet. I haven't. You never not yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to show you this food. <laughs> so if you may get hungry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my fault. Well, we have here some people's favorite foods around the world. Mm -hmm. So I need some people to read. Who can read apple pie? I want you to practice your pronunciation. Apple pie? Ingrid Maricela, can you read apple pie, please? Okay. Brown to North American from Europe in the 16th century. 17th century. 17, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Anna, can you read about chocolate? Chocolate original prepared as a drink by the Olmet people in Mexico over 3,000 years ago. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. 
Um, Patricia Esmeralda, can you read about French fries? Okay, first, made in Belgium around 1,680. Very good, Patricia, yes. You can also read it as 1680. It's easier, but yeah, you, you did it correctly, 1,680. Okay, about the hamburger, Maria Jose, are you here? Okay, um, hamburger created around 19, 19, oh, I, I, I get oh, oh. In the USA, as a quick and expensive meal. Thank you, and now it's a very expensive meal. <laughs> okay, ice cream cone, Sandra Elizabeth? Can you read about ice cream cone, Sandra? Elizabeth Asensio? Habemos <laughs> cuatro. You, Sandra Asensio. Yeah. Okay. Ice cream cone create a uh, the 1094 warfare uh, in the US by a saying chef Ernest Howey. Thank you. Okay, 1904. <laughs> okay, pasta, Valeria del Carmen. Eh, y el uno que está ahí, ¿cómo se pronuncia? First. First. Es primer. Okay. First century. Okay. First writing about in a Greek recipe from the first century. C.E. -E. Mm -hmm. Common C -E. era or Christian era. That is the CE stands for Christian era or common era. Okay, the sandwich, uh, Stephanie Quintanilla. Why? Well, um, name for an English year of sandwich in the Thank you. The baby wants to participate in the class too. <laughs> okay, and about uh, sushi, let's see. Luis? Luis Ernesto? Hello, Luis, are you there? Okay, or Sandra Mosa? Okay, sushi. Modern steel sushi first made in Jap in Japan in the 18 20 20s yes in the 1820s thank you so much so you see that's why it's important to read out loudly to read aloud because in that way you figure out how to pronounce the the, the years or other words okay so guys, um, what are what are your favorite? What are your three favorite of all of these? What are your three favorite? In my case, um, I would say the ice cream cone, the French fries, the hamburger. It's difficult to choose only three. <laughs> Because I like all of them, but I would choose the ice cream cone, the French fries, and the hamburger. What about you? What are your your uh three favorites? My favorite is apple pie, chocolate, and ice cream cone. Very good. Okay, David, remember chocolate, chocolate. You don't pronounce the second O. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate. Yes. Chocolate. Ingrid Maricela, did you want to participate? Okay. Uh, the first uh, chocolate. I love. Your and the second has... one is apple pie. And the last one. Hamburger. hamburger. The hamburgers. <laughs> Caleb says, number one, sushi, like my husband, apple pie and french fries. Oh, yeah, I'm addicted to french fries, but they are too greasy. <laughs> okay, what about you, Milagro? 
I really love chocolate. Um, ice cream. And hamburgers. And hamburgers too. Okay, so we have in common or with others, chocolate and, and hamburgers. The ice cream is not the ice cream, it's the ice cream cone. Okay, just the cone. And I like, I, when I buy an ice cream, I really enjoy eating the cone. Okay, very good. Also, it's delicious. Emilia says sushi, hamburger, and french fries. Yeah, sushi is good. The first time I tried sushi, I didn't like it. But the second time I enjoyed it, and now I like it. So, yeah, it's delicious too. Okay, so now we are getting hungry, but we need to continue with the class. <laughs> we have here a conversation between Simon and Christine. And the topic is, I'm tired of shopping. I'm tired of shopping. I need two participants to read, to read the conversation between Simon and Christine. We have Maria Jose Navarro and Stephanie. Okay, light, camera, action. Hey, do you want to take, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired for shopping. Ah. Ah. So am I, what do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, either. I guess it's a bit spicy. What about, what about Japanese food? Fine by me. I love Japanese food. So, do I there's a great restaurant on the first floor? It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, girls. So, as you notice, they are talking about going to eat. <laughs> And, um, well, in this thing, or in this conversation, we can see the expressions that, um, that we, we're going to study today. For example, so am I. I'm not either. So do I, okay? Let's analyze these sentences. Okay, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired of shopping. I want to eat something. And she says, I'm tired of shopping, so am I. So what she wants, or what he says here, is me too, right? Es como decir lo mismo que yo también, me too. I'm tired of shopping. So am I. And I'm using am I because the in the in this previous sentence she's she says am right am so I'm using the verb to be in the other one in the other example Christine says I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. So this is a negative, negative sentence, negative response. So that's why we use either. So either is for negative. Es como decir yo tampoco. Yo tampoco, okay? So either is for negative. And then she says, I love. Japanese food. So do I. And here we don't have the verb to be. We have the simple present. That's why I use the auxiliary do, right? So do I. Imagine the sentence here would be negative in the past. I will use the auxiliary for the past. What is the auxiliary for the past? Did. did exactly I would say so did I okay so you have to pay attention to the previous sentence 
Uh, we are going to use the auxiliary depending on the tense we are talking about. Okay. David, do you have a question? Yes. Eh, en, en el caso de las oraciones que no tengan, eh, que no tengan eh, específicamente el verbo to be, siempre se va a ocupar el do en la, en la, en la respuesta. Por ejemplo, so do I. Yeah, it siempre depends. Siempre se va a ocupar el do. O, o depends eh, de, de auxiliary verb. It depends if the sentence is in the present simple, in the present progressive, in the past, in the present perfect, in the future, or a other modal. For example, imagine you say, I can speak English, so can I. Because I'm using the modal can. I can speak English, so can I. Okay, in the affirmative form or the agreement. In the negative, I'm using a negative sentence. I can't speak Japanese. Neither can I. Neither can I. Or I can't either. So either and neither is for negative and to show disagreement. I think I have a question here in the chat. Oh, okay, Luis. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, very good, guys. So we are going to analyze this in the next a grammar points, in the next slide. You can see here the different tenses and modal, tenses and modal verbs. For example, I'm crazy about Italian food. You can, you can say to show agreement, para decir yo también, you can say, so am I. Or, I am too. Disagreement, mm, oh, I'm not. You are crazy about Italian food, but I am not. Um, another one, I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. So this is to show disagreement. And because it's the model can, the answer is with can, okay? I like Japanese food a lot, so do I. I do too, because in this case, it's the simple present. The auxiliary for the simple present is do or does in the third person singular. And to show this agreement, you say, oh, I don't. Or I don't like it very much. I don't like Japanese food very much. Okay, another one with the verb to be. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. So in this case, because it's negative, I use neither. Neither am I. I'm using am because it's the verb to be. Neither am I or I'm not either. Or really, I am. I am in the mood for Indian. You are not, but I am, okay? I can't stand fast food. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either, okay? Entonces, está de acuerdo con lo que está diciendo la persona. Es como, no... No me gusta para nada la comida rápida. Ay, yo tampoco la detesto, no la exporto. <laughs> okay, so this expression shows that neither can I or I can't either. Disagreement, oh, I love it. Or the other example, I don't like salty food. Neither do I, I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. Okay. En este caso, prácticamente el, eh, el negativo, eh, dentro de la oración negativa, el negativo se vuelve positivo, ¿no? O sea, eh, porque se vuelve del mismo lado, está, está, ¿cómo se llama? Compartiendo la misma idea que la persona que hizo el primer enunciado. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because you are show, showing agreement. You, are, you agree. So negative, you use neither or either. Affirmative, you use so at the beginning or to at the end. Okay? 
teacher have a question? Yes. Teacher have a question. Okay, Mary first. Daniela, you first. In the case of in the case of either, you can you well, I seen and I heard before that you can use like me either. Exactly. And for the agreement, you can say me too. And okay. todas esas, you can say but me too, like, me too, me too, or me neither. It's like neither. saying me, uh -huh. me neither, and that is very easy. But you need to that learn. is that is okay. Yes, say it's that. okay. It's okay to say that, but okay. you need to learn these expressions, right? The other expressions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And okay. Anna. Okay. Uh, no, uh, it's necessary that the sentences uh, is in, in the way in question because I uh, I don't know if I if I can say uh, if I can, if I can to uh, use a uh, both answer so am I I think so if when uh as uh, it was a question, no. You understand this? I think so. <laughs> okay. Well, in this case, we have. Well, when you have a question, you ask and you wait for a response, right? You are asking for a yes no answer, or you are asking for information. But in this case, we just say affirmative or negative statements, just a statement. And you, and you say your response, right? If you agree or you disagree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And neither so, is the same. Yeah, but the difference is that you use neither at the beginning, like so, right? And use either at the end. Okay. So the difference is the position. So at the beginning, to at the end. Neither at the beginning, either at the end of the sentence. Teacher, and I can I say me neither? You can say, you can say, and that's the, the easiest response. Es la respuesta más fácil. Me too and me neither. I, but I, I hear that before. Yes, yes. It's correct, it's correct. But you need to learn these expressions, right? These other okay. expressions. Yes, Andrea? Is in el caso de los otros sujetos, como conjugaríamos las oraciones? The same, for example. I'm gonna write some examples here. Good question, Andrea, thank you. I was going to point out, let's say my mother um, is good at cooking. And the other person say, uh, so, so mine is, or, My mom is too. Okay. Another one. Uh, he likes. He likes BTS. <laughs> and you can say. Uh, my sister does too. Or, so is she. Okay, so in this case, then my mother is not mine. So is my mom. So is my mom is the correct one. Oh, so is mine. Hmm? Okay. So my mother is good at cooking, so is my mom, or so is mine. 
Or my mom is too. Mi mamá también. He likes BTS. My sister does too. So is she. Okay? So you just have to change the subject. But the structure is the same. I don't know if we need more examples. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, y antes de tú, siempre se tiene que agregar la coma. Oh, yes, you're right. Yes. As you can see here, I am two, I can two, I do two. Before two, you place a comma. Thank you, David, for the observation. Uh, I will make another example with Ken. My father can drive trucks. You can say, oh, so, so, so is my grandfather. Or, sorry, sorry, no, it's not is, it's can. So can my grandfather. Or, my grandfather can too. Can, comma, too. Okay? Just have to be careful with the tense, the subject, and the position of so and to or neither and either. Now, with I will make here an example in negative, right? Let's say he can't ride a bicycle. Neither can't. Neither can my brother, or my brother can't either. Another example. They don't like reggaeton. So, oh, sorry, it's neither. Neither do we. Or we don't either. Okay? Maybe you can take a screenshot of this so that you can remember later and I will try to send it to the WhatsApp group. Well, okay, I will erase and let's go over this exercise. Okay, you're going to help me. You're going to help me, guys, to get the right answer. Okay? Um, I don't listen. L look at the different tenses. So, have I, neither have I, neither can I. I didn't either. It's in the past. Neither do I, I do too, I can too, so am I. I want either will in negative and so did I, did it for the past. So you will tell me what is the correct answer for each one. I don't listen to rap music. Neither do I. 
Exactly, neither do I. Very good, Pilar. Okay, Peter didn't eat in McDonald's. It's in the past. Peter didn't eat in McDonald's. I, I didn't, didn't either. Eat. Didn't eat. I, I didn't, didn't either. either. Very nice. Very intelligent. I like the students like this. <laughs> you catch easily. I didn't either. I am learning English now. So am I. So am I. Yeah, that's correct. We went diving last summer. It's in the past. Went is the past of go. It's in the past. I won't either. I won't either. I won't either. No, I won't want either. is the negative of will in the future. I, I went diving. Go. Did I? Exactly. So did I. Because did is the auxiliary for the past. Did. They want, this is the future. They won't go to Egypt next summer. Once I won't either. I won't either. Okay. I have got a pet. Or I have a pet. So, so have so I. I. So have I. Okay. This is British English. <laughs> okay, I can ride a horse. I can too. Mm, but it's negative. Neither can I. 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 Okay. I can cook pancakes. I can cook pancakes best of all. I, I can, can too. too. I can too, exactly, because it's a germany. I can coma too. I enjoy drinking tea. So am I. Exactly. No, sorry, it's I enjoy. I do too. I do too. I do, too. I, do too. I do coma too. I do too. And finally, we haven't had dinner yet. It's present perfect. We haven't had dinner yet. So have I. Have I. Neither have I. You see, it's not a difficult. You just have to uh, be careful with the the, ta the tense. Okay, the tense. That's it. That is the key. Okay. Very good. If you want to do this exercise again for practicing, I can send you the link. We have another exercise here. So to either and either, but don't use me too or me neither. <laughs> okay? We were asking me about this me too or me neither, which is the easiest response, but um, we have to use the other structure. So let's start with, I'm tired. I'm tired, guys. So am I. Me too. <laughs> yeah, but don't say me too. <laughs> Sorry, we have to use the other, ex the difficult expression. So am I. So exactly. am I. So, so am I. I. I just want to make bigger. So am I. I'm not hungry. I'm Neither not. Am I. Okay. Neither. 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 I'm not hungry. Am I? Neither am I. Mm. I don't like wine. Neither do I. Good. I liked the movie. So do I. I. So did I. I have never been to Washington. Neither, 
Neither did I. Neither did I. Mm, it's the, the it's present perfect. I have never been to Washington. Never am I. It's not a, it's not there to be. We are used. Mm. I have never been to Washington. So it's neither never have been. I. Neither uh, have I. Neither have I. Okay, because we're using have. That is the auxiliary. I thought the test was easy. I thought the bet the test was easy. Teacher, sorry, okay, guys. Neither, neither no solo para negativo. Neither in yeah, neither. But in this case, never. Make okay. the sentence negative. Sí. No lo he okay. visto. <laughs> Don't worry, Anna. I thought the test was easy. So, Anna. So, did I? So, did I? Okay. So, did I? Okay. Let's try to use the expression to and the expression either, which is placed at the end of the sentence. Okay. In the next examples, I am not married. I'm not either. Hey, very nice. Um, not either. <laughs> I read the newspaper. I read. I read the newspaper every day. I. I do two. I, I do, comma, two. two. I do two. I do two. Mm -hmm. I drive a Daihatsu. I do two. I do two. I want to be a, a cook. So am I? Ah. I want to use two at the end, okay? So I want to be a cool, I do too, okay? So remember, so is at the beginning, then the auxiliary and the subject. Neither at the beginning, subject, sorry, verb and subject. And then two is used at the end. Subject, auxiliary, and two. But we have more exercises. Don't worry because we have more <laughs> in the next slide. Okay, and you're going to help me. I get really tired on Saturday. Let's use either or two. I do, I do too. I do too. I'm not going now tonight. I'm not either. Excellent. I am not either or I'm not either. I watched TV last night. I, I did too. too. I do too. too. I did too. I did too. Because it's I the did past. Too. I won't be able to come to class next week. I? Me either. I won't. Either. I, I won't, won't either. either. Or neither will I. Okay? Or neither will I. I live in Nagano. So do I. I do, I do too. I do. I would like to go to Kyoto in the summer. The auxiliary or the verb is would. I. I would eat it. I would. I would like. To. I would too. Also, would I? I can't play the violin. 
I can too. I am not either. I can't neither either. can I. Okay, I can't either. And either. Or neither, as somebody said. Can and I. Nice. I don't like air conditioners. I don't either. I, I, I don't either. Or neither. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't feel cold in the winter. I, I don't, don't either. either. Or neither do I. Exactly. Easy, right? I can't stand NATO. I can either. I can either. Or neither can I. Very good. I am looking for love. Come on. I do too. <laughs> Come on. That that sound that sound very natural. Very natural. Or so do I. <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> okay. Very nice. <laughs> I I could see Teacher. that. Are... Yes. Um I am looking. Oh like yes, you're right. To me. That you see, I am just I'm just checking if you are sleeping, if you are asleep, or if you are paying attention. Just kidding. I am looking for love. I am to or so I am. So am I. So am I. So am I. Very good, guys. I can see that you got it. You are not falling asleep in the class. You are awake. The teacher is sleeping. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. I'm so happy that you understood the topic. Okay, so to express agreement, expressing agreement, what are the expressions that we use? Do you remember? To express agreement, we use so plus. The verb or modal plus subject. Exactly, plus the subject. Okay. Or we can use subject plus verb or modal plus. Plus, what is the expression at the end? Two. Two. Very nice. This is the structure. I will also send you a picture for this. So you can have her there. And to express <coughs> disagreement, <coughs> uh, we use <clears throat> what is it the, the the word? What is the expression? Hi. I think I got frozen. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello